Hello, my FST friends. So if you didn't get it last time, let's try and start to kind of try and make a little bit more sense of it. But um, we're talking again about the language of functions, part two. Okay, so pause this at any time, take some notes for yourself, and then let's just try and practice a couple more. Okay, so um, where we left off last time, let's just kind of recap here. If you saw something like this, Again, um, we want to talk domain and range. That's all we're talking about, set notation, domain and range, okay? So remember for domain, open the set X such that. For the range, open the set notation Y such that, okay? And then you're going to follow with uh, whatever it is. So remember domain, that's a scan side to side, always from left to right. So where are you seeing this function happen? So scan right? It's going from negative 2 all the way over to 5, right? From negative 2 to 5. That's where the function happens. So negative 2 and 5, okay? And you can see clearly that there's dots on either end. So what that means to us is that um, it's included at that spot. It ends exactly at negative 2 and at uh, 5, okay? And then same thing for the range. So the range is a scan down to up. So scan, right? Okay, from negative three up to four, right? So from negative three up to four, okay? Using that compound inequality notation. All right, so let's look at the next one. All right, so um, you can see on this one clearly that there's an open dot over here at the point negative three comma zero. That means that that spot is not included, okay? And so let's just take a look at this one. So domain, range, open the set, right? And so we're gonna go from negative three to two, side to side, okay? From negative three to two, however, on this side, it's not included there, so we're gonna draw in our symbol, but we're not gonna draw that equal sign underneath it. However, at 2, it's included, so go ahead and include it there, okay? And then let's talk about the range. So the range is a scan from down to up, so from 0 up to 3. So from 0 to 3, at 0, it's not included, right? So no equal sign. At 3, it is included. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one, right? Okay, this one's a little bit different. We're going to do domain and range. Okay, and so domain, it looks like we go from negative 1 to 3. So from negative, whoops, from negative 1 to 3. At 1, it's included. At 3, it is not included. Okay, and then the range, this one's a little bit different. This is just a flat line, and it's just a flat line at y equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so, oops. Sorry, my watch thinks I'm talking to it. Okay, so we're gonna open, set, okay? Uh, y such that, y is simply four, right? It's right on that line, so we just do like that, okay? Y is four. Okay, let's look at the next one over here. Okay, so again, I'm gonna put this one up here. Okay, so domain scan, it's going from negative three to positive three, and there are open dots in both spots. So negative 3 to positive 3, there are open dots at both spots, so no equal signs on either of those, okay? And then let's look at the range, okay? So the range, let's see, it's going from negative 1 up to 4, okay? It goes as high as 4, okay? And so we're going to do y such that at negative 1, also it's an open dot, so negative 1 to 4, it's not equal at the negative 1, but it is equal at the 4. Okay, let's come over here. We can do domain and range even when we're dealing with something that's not a function, like this triangle wouldn't pass um, the vertical line test, right? Okay, so for this one, our domain again scan, right? It's looks, looking like it is going from negative 3 to 4. Okay and both of those are included there, okay? And then our range, it's looking like it's going from negative one up to four. Okay, and at negative one, it's included. At four, it's an open dot, it is not included. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the we problem together. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like it's a flat line at y equals negative 2, right? And it's from negative 3 and less than that. Okay, and so I think for our domain, right, it's going to be x is less than negative 3. It's from negative 3 and less. Okay, and then for our range on this one, it's just a flat line, right, at y equals negative 2. So we're going to say y such that y equals negative 2. It's just negative 2. It doesn't go anywhere up here or anywhere down here. Okay, and so let me bring you just a little bit closer. Take a look at this last one. See if you can write your domain and range. Pause it real quick and try it. And I think this is what you ought to be getting. Okay, so good luck. Let's try a couple more today.